hello everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is lucy welcome and today i thought we would talk about brands that i would like to try and haven't yet i'm going to try and put pictures somewhere so that we can see the brands that i'm talking about i think i've figured out how to do it um but bear with me if i haven't um you, you'll see a picture somewhere you'll see a picture somewhere um but i wanted your feedback really so i'm going to give you a list of brands that i haven't tried that i would like to try and if you guys have tried any of these brands comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are of them so i can make better informed educated purchases in the future um and i don't waste my money on rubbish basically so the first brand is doll beauty i first found out about doll beauty from a facebook blogger well she's everywhere really um full of figure full of bust um she uses doll beauty i think they sent her some of their products or something but the palettes are cu really really cute they come in like heart shaped like chocolate boxes they look like chocolate boxes to me but they're heart shaped um it's along the sort of pinky purpley browny sort of shades they don't have any like colorful palettes or anything that i've seen they've got some highlighters which look really really cute so i would like to try them but let me know down below what your thoughts are of them uh the next one is ace beauté um they're quite a popular brand i think uh nikki raven uses them porcelain likes them um and again i've never tried them so please let me know down below what your thoughts are of them uh you can get it on beauty bay uh sometimes they come out with like sets of like four different palettes in like a like different color stories um which looks quite cool uh but yeah again let me know what, what your thoughts are of them the next one is Tarte. Now Tarte to me, I was going to do a video of like boring brands. Tarte, uh, just everything they come out with seems to be like just a different shade of brown. Um, however, some people do actually rave about their palettes. Um, so, I mean, once I whittle some of my palettes down and I don't have enough brown in my in my collection, I might want to, to have a little look at the old tarts. Now, if their formula changes from palette to palette, I don't know anything about the brand other than they bring out really boring palettes every single time. So let me know. Another one is Dose of Colours. Um, I've heard the Friendcation palette is the one to buy. Um, but again, like, let me know what your thoughts are of the brand. Let me know if you've, if you've, if you've ever purchased from them but the friendcation palette is the one that i've had my eye on i don't know if you can still buy it uh, i made these notes a, a while ago and i've only just got around to filming this so um yeah let me know sort of what your thoughts are of the brand let me know if you have bought anything next one is natasha denona now natasha denona is like bougie 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 and i hear some really good things however the other day I was watching some Bailey Sarian and she had she had got one of their palettes and she was like this is not their usual formula so I don't know with that one did their formula change from palette to palette I was thinking about getting one of the smaller sort of 60 pound ones rather than spending like 150 pounds on them on one of the one of the palettes because uh, I thought I would make made me feel better but I don't know if the formula changes from from palette to palette so let me know on that one i do apologize i'm playing with my hair scrunchie because i the anxiety is is strong today and i need something to play with <laughs> uh so the next one is charlotte tilbury not so much charlotte tilbury's eyeshadow palettes because again they all look really really boring really really plain um i know my my fellow youtuber adventures senior we were talking about this the other day and she really wants the pillow talk palette she's like i love pink i need me some of that pillow talk palette i had a look at it and i was like mm, for you maybe not for me um but the bronzers and the highlighters i want to have a try of so again let me know down, down below in the comments um the next one is melt cosmetics 
um melt cosmetics have been around for ages and i've always wanted to try them they have like st they have stacks of like single eyeshadows they're all magnetic and they stick together in a stack but they have come out with a lot of palettes recently um the gemini palette the 420 palette um and but they all seem to be sort of like really grungy um sort of cool tony warm tony sort of greens and yellows and browns and things that i would wear so um again just wondering what your thoughts are of the um eyeshadow because it's all very well me sitting here watching reviews but i want to hear what you guys think um and sometimes reviews are not always truthful not always truthful from the bigger people because they get sent it or um you know they they want to impress the the company i find the smaller the smaller youtubers are, tend to be a little bit more honest because they actually buy things with their money but you know bh cosmetics uh bh cosmetics uh they bring out lots and lots of palettes it seems every week um and i've never got around to trying them uh but people do rave about their their products they did do some like baked eyeshadow palettes and baked eyeshadow palettes are just not really my thing i don't i don't, I don't know what it is i don't like the look of them and i just don't think they would perform very well i think it was because back in the day i had like one single baked eyeshadow pal eyeshadow it was like a single and i could it was like from accessorize so i mean it was going to be shit anyway but from that I've just always got it in the back of my head that like baked products are rubbish. Maybe I should get a palette. So, again, if you if you have tried their formula, their baked eyeshadow formula, and you think it's the biz, if you think it's the shiz, if you think it's you know worth worth buying, then let me know down in the comments below. Um, yeah the last one is dominique cosmetics um their berries their berry something palette was the one that caught my eye um also sigma as well the enchanted palette has has caught my eye um it looks really really pretty again i don't know what sigma eyeshadows are like so if you could hit me up down below um let me know if you want to try any of these products as well let me know if there are any brands out there that you haven't tried that you would like to try let me know if there's any brands that you just wouldn't go near um and yeah as ever guys i hope you have a lovely day thanks for watching leave me a heart down below if you have made it this far a black one leave me a black heart if you have watched this far um, have a great day everybody be kind to everybody make content if you're a youtuber and i shall see you soon for my next video bye guys